Hey YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. And just quickly, I um, did a bunch of videos and I'm going to kind of put them together to describe this weekend. It was a beautiful weekend. It was a perfect weekend because I brought home all-terrain vehicles and a mini motorcycle and scrap metal and <laughs> stuff from Stormville. It was a great weekend. So please enjoy my video. Let me know what you all think. Today is the last day for the Stormville flea market. So, it's such a beautiful weekend, I figured I was going to hit it. I'm also going to hit uh, Crazy Eddie's flea market tomorrow. Um, by the way, it really seems to be worthwhile. It, uh, there seems to be a really, really full flea market. Sometimes the ATC Mike comes here. Maybe I'll run across him. So, my first haul came out of Stormville. So quickly, let's go through it. This is a lithium-ion jump pack. I gave him 15 bucks for it. The t-shirts were a dollar. The sweatshirts were two for five. So, my wife uh, says I'm beginning to look like a homeless guy between the beard, the long hair, and the stained clothes. So I figured I'd upgrade and try to make her a little happier. Um, this stuff, these were a dollar each. I figured it, perhaps they would be a better way of putting fuel into the hose when I'm not wearing a uh, gas tank, when the ATV doesn't have a gas tank. So one, two, these were three for a buck, and these were three for five. Right, I'm always using those. Uh, then I hooked up with the uh, dollar guy, hand sanitizer, matches, fake Sharpies. These were a buck. The big clamps were a buck each. Uh, very helpful for putting tarps on tarp sheds. Double sticky foam. Um, I got to put that thermostat back on my heater up above. Get more fake Sharpies. Uh, batteries, CR025s, pretty common. I also picked up a couple of cards of batteries. Seems like I only managed to use two or three of these before I lose them. So at a buck a card, that's not a big, big deal. So a few dollars there. Once again, Sharpies, Sharpies. Always, um, I seem to always be um, breaking nails. Up above so I brought that to clean them up CR 2016 is very common once again all of this a dollar and the um, the butane match it was a dollar then I saw my uh, my buddy Luther there these say Calhawk but these are the Calhawk made in Taiwan now not the good old-fashioned Calhawk made in the United States. These are those um, splined sockets, right? These are considered both metric and uh, SAE. Anyhow, I've not used these before. He gave them to me for 18, he always gives me a deal. So I figured I'd try them and you know, give them a shot. If they work for me, fine. If they don't, I'll <laughs> throw them in a toolbox that I'm going to have destined for my son's house. Maybe he'll make use of them. Typically, what these are really good for is if you have a weird bolt that's like got a square, um, a square bolt, a square head on it. Or sometimes for wing nuts, these are helpful. It's just something else in the toolbox to help out when you got that stripped bolt that you can't make go. So anyway, we've covered Stormville. Now let's talk about the all-terrain vehicles. And I got to tell you, the deals are flooding in. I can't keep up with it. I got to drop this to get more. God, these things are stacking up like cordwood and there's still more deals.
So I picked up this pair of Suzuki quad runners. Uh, they're both quad runner 4x4s. They're both 300 cc's. This guy is from the 90s. And just quickly, it has like, what, 2,400 mi 2, miles on it. So uh, they both have carburetor problems. You guys could see the brand new carburetor there. And from what he was saying, I think the mice got into the wiring on both of them. So I have some troubleshooting to do on, on uh, both. The story was um, father's all-terrain vehicle son's all-terrain vehicle and they used to ride together and they both kind of outgrew it <laughs> they both got busy both got busy with their lives and all so i've been working on this deal for about six months seven eight months i've probably mentioned it a half a dozen times um that i you know planted the seeds and maybe the deal was going to come through and maybe it wasn't well the seeds finally germinated and they decided they weren't going to use them, and they were willing to let them go. I do have the cover for the lights, and I do have the seat, and I believe I have the bezel that goes over the gas tank. So this is one of them. This other one is much more interesting, because it only has 39 miles on it less than 40 miles, 39 and a half. Now this one, um, the mice got into it and they ate the wires. Um, it was sitting, the mice got in, ate the wires. Then it wouldn't start, um, sat some more. And finally he, he went through it and he managed to rig it up enough where I guess the spark came back. And then at that point, the carburetor was a mess. And uh, if you take a quick look, this is wearing a black sock, not a carburetor. So that's kind of where this one went over the side. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this one back to life. It has a winch on the front of it, which is cool. I'm not seeing... I see like long, long wires here. But I'm not seeing any control for the winch. I don't see the winch control switch. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Once again, you can see the wires are, are messed up down here. What did I pay for them? The pair, that guy. And that guy were 1500 so I have real money invested. We're going to go through these top to bottom, beginning to end. Um, and I, I got to be honest, I'm looking forward. I mean, these, this, this is the newest, I mean, 39 miles. It's virtually new. And I think this one's an 02, and I think that's a 93, if I'm recalling right. I did get the paperwork for them, and I did get the books. Um, so these were registered. They both had license plates on them. They took the plates off. So um, not this year, but they've been licensed in New York State. And I got the paperwork to transfer them to me. So um, they really kind of didn't want to necessarily get rid of them. But if you've had an all-terrain vehicle since 02 and it only has 40 miles on it, you're probably not going to use it much, <laughs> right? You haven't used it much in the last 18 years. You're probably not going to use it much. So they decided to send them to a good home. And once again, I'm considered that good home. So I, I do look forward to getting them both running. And hopefully my carport gets put up soon. So then uh, it makes it a little easier to, to store them. So once again, started out at Stormville. 
ended up with two all-terrain vehicles and then there's one more deal and let me show you that so while I was at Stormville I ran across a buddy of mine that I've done quite a bit of business with mostly I got those LED Christmas lights from him and I also got those two quads the Tau Tau and the Kawasaki, I believe it was a Bayou. So he mentioned that he was out running the curbs. And this was a, this was a trash pickup. It is 110 cc's. It's got the China motor. Four speed hand clutch. Which makes it a really interesting motor to have. Um, you guys could see it holds air. And they said on the carburetor that's in it, they actually had it moving. They actually did get it to start and run, but it does have carburetor issues. I gave them 150 bucks for it. And some of you might say, wow, he got it from <laughs> the side of the road. Why would you give him 150 bucks for it? And I got to respond to that, that, you know, he might have gone out 10 times before and found nothing on the side of the road. So, you know, you got to give people enough money where things are profitable, right? And you start giving people very little money and they start thinking, I might as well fix it myself or do something else with it. Or I'm not even going to pick it up. That looks heavy. So I wanted to make sure that it was worthwhile for him to you know pick up this stuff and sell it to me so i figured um the 150 dollars was a fair price as you start going much above that um it starts moving out of the way of being worth much more than that to me um even if it runs i buy this kind of stuff to make videos about so quite honestly it's it's better if it doesn't but um given that it doesn't run one could always bring it home and have the surprise that the engine is trash. And then if uh, at 150 bucks, it's going to be difficult to get one's 150 bucks worth of parts out of it. So, you, you know what I mean? 150 is fair. I did um, attempt to kick it over, and it does kick over. I mean, if they don't run, $50 is... And, you know, particularly if they're seized up or whatever, $50 is more like a better price for them. But this one came with the key. Um, I got to check the truck and I got to check with uh, um, Jared, Chris, and Sarah to see if, um, if, if perhaps they have this cover or perhaps it's missing. What am I going to do with it? If you guys recall, my son has one just like it. And what I'd like to do is combine the two of them and see if we can't put something decent together. Yeah, I think this cover could come off of his and go right on that one. So if I can combine the two, he'll have a toy to play with. And I'll end up with a four-speed motor with a hand clutch. Um, which could be just picture on one of those little little um, quads, the little ATVs, the uh, 110 cc version. We're, picture one of those with uh, a hand clutch and a four speed. That could be just a blast to play with, especially if you're lower down to the ground real low, right? Press it down to the ground and. Uh, make it so that it could it could actually be a bit of a slider for going around the corners i think that'd be a fun machine to make so anyway so the second or the third deal right stormville the quads and uh the motorcycle there's the three of them so those were were uh the deals stormville is now closed and crazy andy's closed a week ago so there are no more outdoor flea markets by me if I want to go to a flea market I now have to go to Pennsylvania or I have to go to that indoor one in Middletown I've never 
I haven't been there since they moved, so I don't know if that's any good, but um, those, those are the only flea markets I have left. Well, I was visiting Jared and Company. I picked up um, a load of scrap metal, right, wheels and uh, everything else. So, stainless steel in here and racks and so forth. This is the back of a chair. But I thought it would make a pretty good bumper. Right ramming bar. So, um, I got a couple of these. Yeah, when I when I see metal, right? When when you see metal, you try to uh, you know what am I going to do with it? Stuff stuff like this, or perhaps oh, if you look at the front of the Tau Tau, right? Start looking at this kind of thing. Wouldn't take much to set it up with mounting brackets and put it in there. That way the Teletubby could be in jail. So, I mean, this is this is the kind of stuff I look at when I when I see these pieces of metal floating around. Would not be all that difficult to set up. I have the front rack, so just have it come off, suspend this from the front of the front rack. It's already got kind of the, the bend in it, looking down at it, which matches the front end of the ATV. So, you know, once again, when I see chairs and bunk beds and stuff like that for metal, always useful. So you can see I got a couple of those chair backs, some uh, bedding frame. That's one of those um, blowers for inflating like a Christmas toy or a kid jump on thing. Um, this is a bunch of stainless steel pots. If you go around the side here, the side unfriendly to the sun. This is a chute for a, a lawnmower. A lot of times the shape of the plastic is helpful. Metal rack, garage organization. And then this is bunk bed stuff, the ladder to get up the bunk bed. A bunch of interesting curves like this. Once again, I'm thinking of bumpers. And also, if I'm going to carry Suzuki all-terrain vehicles, i got to put something up to protect this window. The Suzukis have that extra little bar that sticks out, which catches the window right dead in the halfway point. It makes it so easy to break it. So, i got to, once again, if I'm going to carry Suzukis, i got to do something to fix this or... Uh, or my insurance company is going to get real cranky with me. Any, hey, anyway, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Obviously, this week, I got a lot to do. Crazy lot. Um, and you guys will be seeing a bunch of that also.